Hello, I'm Danny from DJI High Access Services. A couple of weeks ago, a customer of mine asked me to investigate a leak on her chimney. When I surveyed the chimney, I discovered that the concrete launching on top of the chimney was all cracked and loose, and that there was an open chimney pot. I believe the flaunching is the source of the leak, so I recommended that the old flaunchings be removed and a new flaunching installed along with a multi fuel chimney cowl. I'm just about to do that, thought I would bring my camera along so I could show you what it is that I do when repairing a chimney. I'm just about to take the machine off the trailer so I can get cracking with that if you'd like to come along. As you can see from the picture, concrete flaunching on top of this chimney is badly cracked. The chimney pot itself is in really poor condition, it's cracked and crumbling. Looks like it's only being held on by that Jubilee clip. And the bird guard itself isn't only offering any protection from water falling down the pot. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the flaunching and the pot so that it can be replaced. Making the job run smoothly and quickly is important to me as it provides better service for the customer, which is why I always provide my own power. Our generator is attached to our trailer which transports the cherry picker, therefore I can run a cable to my concrete mixing tool so that I can knock up a mix quickly and nicely with no trouble. When mixing concrete for a chimney flaunch we like to make it strong so that's a 3 to 1 mix. We usually do two parts sharp sand, one part building sand. The building sand just helps to make it nice and smooth and one part cement. It's a cold day today so we've put some antifrost in the mix. That's going to help it go off faster and it won't get affected by the weather. I like my flaunching mixes not to be too wet and not to be too dry. You want it wet enough so that you can get a nice smooth finish on it but not too wet so that it cracks when it dries. This, I'm happy with. The new chimney pot slides nicely into the gap left from the old pot and I use my flaunching mix just to spread around the top of the chimney making sure it's higher in the middle and slopes down towards the edges so that rainwater will fall off the chimney. So just to recap what we've done, we've removed the old chimney flaunch and the pot and put a new concrete flaunching on top with a multi-fuel cow. We're all done now so all we've got to do is put the machine back on the truck and go to the next job.